Hi there, I'm here today with my viola playing The Two Grenadiers by Robert Schumann. And I am going to start, uh, not in the very, very beginning, but my notes start at the end of the second full measure. Okay, on D, G, going into measure three. Okay, uh, taking a look at my key signature, I have B flats and E flats. That might be something new for you, so I'm gonna just go through that right now. First of all, I have, I can't have any sharps if I have, in my key signature, if I have the two flats. So F natural and C natural, but then also down here on the G string, I have B flat. And on the C string, if I go down there, that would be E flat, but I don't think I need to. Uh, also on the A string, B flat. And the D string, E flat. Okay, so low ones on D and A, low twos on D and A, and on G. Uh, MC, okay, I do have some accidentals, so I have to be ready for those right away. Um, my rhythm in the beginning sounds like this one, two, ta, 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 three. One, two, ta, 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 three. One, two, ta, 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 three, four. One, two, rest, four. Okay, uh, it starts on an up bow, so let's go like this on the just open D string. Down, up, up again, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. You just want to do that in the air a couple of times. Let's do it one more time. Up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Again with open D. to be so comfortable to, for you that every time that it happens you have no problem okay next is uh, my notes so I start on D there's that up bow and then B flat there it is see it okay so B flat make sure you get back to the tape after that B flat you don't want to be too low on that, okay? So from the beginning, again, measure, going into measure three. B flat again. F sharp, accidental. E, natural, accidental, all right on my tape. Okay, so let me do that again from the beginning. And I'm going to go on because it just repeats itself. It's the same notes in measure seven and eight. So I think I'm good for a little while. Starting up bow. So you want to get right up, not at the very, very tip, but you know, upper half. C natural and measure nine, so make sure you get that. And then at 10, I had down, lift, down. See how low towards the frog I am? I'm right down there. Don't try to do it out here. It doesn't have the same bite. It's not nearly as neat and uh, energetic. Okay, so uh, starting on measure nine. B flat, okay? So just um, measure 11. Let's just review this rhythm a little bit. One, te, two, te, three, te, four, te, one, two, three, four. One, te, two, te, three, te, four, te, one, two. You have to make sure you count those out. Uh, let me do it once without the slur to make sure that you get the right rhythm. This is 11. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, one, two. Okay, adding it as it's written. I'm going to go back to 11 again. 
Here's my E flat, low one. <laughs> Back at 11, piano, so soft, but agitato, which means like a little bit agitated, so like kind of a feeling uh, in it. The other thing is measure 19. A lot of people have trouble with 19 because there are so many repeated notes. If you even count from the note the measure before that, you have a D, and then another one, one, two, da, 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 like, I don't know, six Ds in a row. It gets confusing. So what I like to do is Note on my music that my G is a down bow. Okay, at the end of 19, I have a down bow. That way I can kind of go by that a little bit. Uh, here's 19. One, two, two, three, two, four, down. One, two, 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 up, down, down. There's three eighth notes before that down bow. One, two, two, two. So maybe that'll help you a little bit, okay? I'm gonna keep moving on. So now I'm on measure 23, and I have a key change. You can see that at the end of the line, at the end of 22. So now it says natural, B natural, F, uh, and E natural. So that what they're telling you is to no longer do B flats and E flats, and they've added F sharps. So now I get to play F sharps on my tape, my fingers are no longer back here, okay? So I'm right on the tape and F sharp, but I still have to hang on to that C natural, so just don't forget that, okay? I'm gonna start on the up bow before 23. Starting right here, because I need a big bow because it's forte. <laughs> Just it's a tie, a half note into an eighth note. So one, two, three, rest four, one. It's just like kind of clip the third. It's you could pretend that it's a dotted half note. That's three beats, but you're just gonna kind of clip it short a little bit. Okay. So one, two, three, two, four. One, two, two, two. Stretching it out at the end, all our gondo, that's what that means. And uh, did you notice the same rhythm that we had begin at the beginning? It's the same rhythm. It's the same thing. Down, up, up, down. One, two, ta, te, ta, three, four, like that. Okay? Uh, I think we are ready to go with. A straight run through and just be careful of your dynamics there at the ending it's fortissimo with some crescendos that's like maxed out as loud as you can play so you don't ever want to finish it kind of wimpy and soft like play it out use your whole bow uh, so that you get a great sound okay I'm gonna play from the beginning which is not really the beginning it's the pickup to measure three okay starting on an up bow Remember, I just played all of those sharps and everything. I need to change gears again and go back to the, my earlier key signature with the F natural, C natural, B flat, E flat. <laughs>
listening. <laughs>